Hello friends, it is still October, which means it's still Halloween month. In fact, today is Halloween here in Japan as it is October 31st. Today I am painting a good guy's Chucky handbag. If you like watching these videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below and let me know what you are currently customizing. This handbag is used, however, it is in pretty good condition and it is also the perfect size for some good guys child's play Chucky art. I have had one experience so far in Tokyo with a Chucky doll. It was Nikano Mandrake in Tokyo. I regret not buying this doll as it would have made an excellent reference for this video. I used Procreate to put this little piece of artwork together for my bag. All images were found on Google. Here I am cutting it out just to make sure it will fit as I need it to. First thing first, I need to remove the top layer with acetone. Any type of acetone will work to include this coconut scented nail polish remover as long as the first ingredient shows acetone. I'm pretty sure this purse is not leather, but I'm going to treat it exactly like leather by first removing the top coat or the factory finish. This will help my paint do better adhere to the surface. There are two different ways I could go about my base coat. The first, I could paint the entire area flat white and then go over the different sections with a pale yellow. Or the second, which is my choice, is to separate the two sections, painting only one section with a flat white and the remainder with a pale yellow. What you see here is my fourth layer of the flat white and pale yellow. After five layers, my color is now solid enough to put on the Sorol stencil. This is on the Good Guys logo first. There is an Amazon affiliate link down below so you can try the Sorol stencil paper yourself. All colors today are from Angelus Direct. For Chucky skin tone, I am using Salmon, Vachetta, Cognac, and Luggage Brown. With a sort of dip and mix technique, I am dipping my brush in each color and then mixing directly on the canvas.
With my color palette reduced down to flat white and salmon, I'm using the same techniques by dipping in the colors and mixing on the canvas. is always a very complementary color to skin tones. This tiny brush is a Princeton Select size 18 short liner and there's also an Amazon affiliate link down below to try this exact brush. Decided to reduce a little bit of the pale yellow around the edges. I'm going in with a flat black and I'm just going to sort of chop it up a little bit. I don't want this terribly neat. I'm trying to make this look worn in an older design on the bag. With my Chucky doll box as reference, I can do a few more details to include the inside of the box and the reflection of the light on the outside cellophane.
this raw stencil paper for a third time. This time for a little more box art to include the axe, hammer, gun, and a few hats. painting just a hint of light reflection on the outside. A little bit of blood goes a long way and my mix consists of scarlet red, chili red, and too thin. effort to make this painting look printed on years ago, I'm bringing down the flat black a bit more. Lastly, to protect the artwork on the bag, I'm using a matte four coat urethane finish. And this is the complete Chucky Good Guys custom painted handbag. If you have any questions, all of my contact information is down below, as are links to all the products I used in this video. Big thanks to Angela's Direct for the paints, and thanks guys for watching.